winds, storms and cyclones. Wind. Moving air in the atmosphere is called wind. The rough heating of the Earth's surface by the sun forms wind. An anemometer is used to measure the wind's speed. Properties of air. Dot air exerts pressure. Dot high speed winds are accompanied by reduced air pressure. Dot air expands on heating. Generation of wind currents. There are two situations of generating wind currents. 1. Irregular heating between the equator and the poles, the regions, which are close to the equator, get maximum heat from the sun and the air gets warm. The warm air rises and the cool air from the regions in the 0 30 degrees latitude belt on either side of the equator moves in. From the north and the south towards the equator these winds blows and the air is colder at latitudes about 60 degrees at the poles. At these latitudes, warm air rises up and the cold wind rushes in from the polar regions to take its place. Thus, wind circulation is set up from the poles to the warmer latitudes. The winds flown in the north-south direction from north to south or from south to north and a change in direction is caused by the rotation of the earth. 2. Uneven heating of land and water in the summer, the land warms up more rapidly and mostly the temperature of the land is higher than the ocean water near the equator. The air gets heated and it rises over the land. As a result, the winds flow from the oceans towards the land. These winds are monsoon winds. The direction of the wind flow gets reversed in winter and winds flows from the land to the ocean. These winds carry water from the oceans and ring rain. Storm Storms are formed when a center of low pressure develops with a system of high pressure surrounding it. Thunderstorms A thunderstorm needs hot, humid tropical area to grow. The rising temperatures make strong upward rising winds and these winds transmit water droplets upwards, they freeze there and fall down again. The speedy movement of the falling water droplets creates lightning and sound along with the rising air. This occurrence is called thunderstorm. A cyclone forms. Water requires heat to come in vapor state, before the formation of clouds it releases back the heat in atmosphere when vapor changes back to liquid, as rain drops. As a result, the air of atmosphere becomes warm and tends to rise that causes a drop in pressure. This process replicates and ends with the formation of a very low pressure system with high speed wind, which makes a cyclone. Factors like wind speed, wind direction, temperature and humidity contribute to the development of cyclones. How Cyclone Forms